I have to feature this because I think this is really cool. This is courtesy of Mix Mag, and it says here Skepta and Jammer launch house label Mass Tiempa with Mass Murder EP. The label heads plan to for the imprint to provide a platform for producers to expand their current portfolio range. Now, I think this is just cool from a, just a visual aspect to see all these black dudes um, making dance music, especially within that scene of like what you would describe tech house, business techno, whatever it is. There's not a lot of black people in there, right? They don't really, I feel like m maybe it's not platform them, but maybe we don't feel the most comfortable being around um, oots, oots people. But in general, I feel like the music for sure is way within our kind of um, skill set and definitely within our lane. And I feel like a lot of these guys, especially Skepta and Jammer, considering their flipping history, considering their flipping CV, they could make tunes in that genre with their eyes closed. There's no doubt about it. And especially considering Skepta started as a DJ, you know, he could easily smash in that field. So I feel like them kind of dipping their toes into that scene will hopefully inspire a whole new generation of kids coming up to give that side of dance music a chance because I feel like there's a lot of untapped potential there's a lot of kind of um, ground there that we haven't explored that we could kind of do really really well in my opinion and um, anyway the article says as follows Skepta and Jammer have minted their new house focus label Mass Tiempo with a collaborative EP Mass Murder the two track record is out now and features a Skepta and Jammer collab Mass Murder and a collaboration between Jammer J. Colo and Aussie titled Touch Me both label heads made their name as grime artists and as part of the legendary boy but a new crew that was founded um uh, no, but Jam was never in Boy Better No, by the way. This is wrong. Um, crew that founded in 2005 included Skepta winning Mercury Prize in 2016 for his album Konnichiwa. But Skepta DJ set legendary at Beef for Club DC10 last summer signaled the rapper, producer, and DJ bringing his interest in house. On top of that, he also, if I'm not mistaken, they also sold out Beams. And if I'm not mistaken, was that the show that people were like reselling tickets to go and see Skepta and Jamma DJ at Beams um, for like £400 or something? Like, and I think Ticket Swap, the main kind of, you know, reselling ticket platform that we use out here, I think most people use in Europe, it has a cap on how much you can charge anyway. And I think some people were trying to get around it, and maybe they did, but people were selling those tickets that they were kind of um, out there for their Beams performance for, you know, three, four, five times the value, which is absolutely insane to think about it. Um, but again it shows the desire and it shows the hunger and the thirst for what they do and obviously it kind of resonated with a lot of people out there because you know like your lump it with some of the cool kids out there I'd, I'd, I'd imagine the tech house genre is probably the our most popular when in terms of like you know people that go out buy music go to clubs pick t tickets and whatnot and maybe just dj fees if you just want to compare dj fees i think it's definitely up there Anyway, continue the article. In an interview with Mixmag last year, Skepta said, I've always collected and shazammed any tech and minimal tracks I've heard on many travels around the world. Mass Tiempo is a movement from Africa to London to Ibiza. We're focused on production, DJs and events, and the team is ever expanding to bring in new flavor of house music. It's always known, I've always known I'm a more of a rap, more, I'm more than a rapper. Going forward, I want to show my attention to detail and relentless hard work ethic in different ways and DJing is one of them. That's incredible and it's super inspiring, isn't it? DJing is one of them. He just sold artwork at fucking Sotheby's last year. He's doing music. You know, he's probably going to drop soon. It's also a couple of snippets come out and he's also launching a flipping house label, putting on raves, DJing and shit. This guy is really cool. Big up Skepta. Speaking about the release, Jammer said, the generation rules the nation, the version. That really resonated with us of Mass Tiempo journey. Musical youth sampled on Mass Murder was perfect to showcase the way that we feel about giving people our spin on house production and without with instruments with instrumentals while paying homage to the ones that came before us the plan for the imprint is to provide a platform the the massive Belush party is taking over london's coco this sunday april 3rd it's happened already um joined by lana with benji b um solomon le chat kitty amor dj maximum ossi b back to back with gj kalo and final tickets on sale now but yeah i'm just happy because i think this is a tempo shift um, no pun intended. 
And I think what it should do is that it helped to kind of freshen up the scene so it's not all a bit whitewashed because, you know, as much as I'm not really that plugged into Tech House, from what I've seen of the raves and the DJs and stuff, there is a particular kind of archetype of person that kind of plays at these places. But I feel like getting these guys involved or these guys getting themselves involved and kind of putting their hat in the ring also can kind of help to freshen it up, offer different sort of flavours, different sort of presentations of what that music is about and also provide different opportunities and hopefully inspire different kids to come up and try their hand at it because you know as much as i enjoy going to these spaces and having a good time and whatnot it can be sometimes a bit of a bummer going to a nightclub that plays the music that i'm into and being one of only two or three people who are kind of raving to this and you're black it's really disconcerting it kind of makes you feel like what like you know what I mean? especially if you're being otherized and fetishized by flipping people there and people every two minutes and so are coming up to you asking you if you've got fucking pills for sale it just can make you feel a bit lame to be honest a little bit shitty so the more this becomes commonplace the less likely these fuck faces are going to be asking me for pills and whatnot because you know i'm just there raving like you are mate i'm just there raving like you are but hey what do you know um was it crash says don't these guys know about chicago house yeah we know about chicago house but we need to be creating a whole new part of history because this whole kind of first that people have for educating people on the history of dance music and saying it's rooted in black music and whatnot and it's coming from black originators that's a noble cause but most people don't give a fuck so you just have to create a new history and obviously reference some of these legends but new stories need to be told and i feel like these guys are going about it the right way and again you know they're, they're putting you know they have some skin in the game they're putting the money where their mouth is so i'm gonna be sitting on the sidelines eagerly anticipating to see how it develops over time how it develops over 